whether you're in college or not. That's a time in our human beings formative years when they have a maximum degree of, uh, of considering new ideas with, from their classmates, from their professors, from reading ex more extensively than they have in the past. And, and they also are unbound by preserving the status quo. Uh, almost as soon as you graduate from college, you lose a, a substantial part of your human freedom. If you get a job with Delta Airlines or Coca-Cola Company or a bank or if you get a job teaching school, you have to comply with the policies of your corporation or the school system. And, and, you leave that, and you lose that freedom that you had on the college campus to speak out with a single voice or get four or five people to join you, maybe 40 or 50 to join you. And, and so that's when there's a, there's a stirring of, uh, of self-analysis, I would say maybe conscience, and you say, what can I do to improve this world? But that is very quickly stamped out when you get a job or when you start having to support a family, whether you're, man, whether you're boy or girl or man or woman. So I think that, that that's why that in almost every country on earth, it's the young people who have started the revolutions that have brought about changes or improvements in society. Do you think 